If you want to buy a new iPhone now, I suggest you do not. Following Apple's announcement of their Wonderlust event that is scheduled to hold 12th of September, there has been some information from some reliable sources on the devices to expect an upgrade to look out for. So this might actually be worth your wait to see what will be coming out as it will in turn drop the amount of existing devices for you to check out. Hi y'all, Destiny here and today we'll be talking about everything we know about the iPhone 15 series. As usual, the series consists of the iPhone, its plus version, the iPhone Pro and the Pro Max version or the Ultra, whatever they call it. So the iPhone 15 plus, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, these are some of the things we are expecting to come out. Now there's a twist around the Pro Max, like I said, it might be called Ultra this year, just like the Apple Watch and this is really really quite interesting we will be looking at the four phones and their similar upgrades the iphone 15 the 15 plus and their similarities and lastly we'll be looking at the 15 pro and the 15 pro max i'll be telling you what you're expecting from there the differences the similarities that we should be expecting from apple so before we just dive right into it don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit the bell notification icon so you'll be notified every time i drop a new content and from the look of things it's going to be very very consistent now that you've done this let's jump right into the video let's go one of the most common distinctive features of the four iphones that have been rumored to come out like the iphone 15 series is the charging port now this is the biggest news for me and the iphone 15 series apple has ditched the regular lighting port and are moving towards the USB-C port just like they do on their iPad. So basically the phones are expected to have the same charging port as the most current Android phone. This is a pretty good upgrade because now you will be able to use the same charger to power most of your devices that have multiple ports just the same way with the USB-C, save you the stress of carrying multiple cables all around. The iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus, they got few updates from their predecessor, the iPhone 14 and the 14 Plus model. Design-wise, they look almost the same, the same size with an aluminium frame and glass front and back. So ideally, the 14 and the 14 Plus cases should fit these two new ones coming out, which is the 15 and the 15 Plus. Also, the Dynamic Island is no longer exclusive to the Pro and the Pro Max version. It is present in all the versions of the iPhone 15 coming out. With the A16 chip and OLED display driver chip on a 28 nanometer processor, these two phones are expected to have stronger, more reliable, more efficient battery to keep you optimized. What about the colors? Let's speak about a little bit about the colors. Apple has introduced the new light blue, the dark pink colors for the iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus, still coupled with the standard white, black and the red colors. I think these colors are going to be very interesting. I want to see how they would look in real life and how they would blend, you know, just with the surrounding. But if you're talking about price, the US price on the iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus are around $7.99 and $8.99 rumored respectively. We'll just have to wait and see when this come out. But onto the next two models of the iPhone 15 series, which are the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max or Ultra. These two have more changes than the previous two. The iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max both have newer designs compared to the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. The devices are said to be about 0.4 mm thicker than the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max and there's a slight reduction in the height and width also. They feel a little bit more suitable to hold from some of the videos I've watched myself and it might be a good change in my own opinion. But if we move on to the body, these two phones have the curved edge. Not as curved as the iPhone 10 or 11 but that kind of flat edge kind of feel. The 14 Pro models also have. So also it has a stainless steel and Apple went with the titanium back which is said to be lighter, stronger and a little bit more durable. If you're still speaking on the dynamic island in the display, it still remains so with the 15 Pro model but the bezels will be slightly thinner than the 14 Pro models. Apple also introduced solid state power, volume and action buttons. These action buttons will replace the mute switch and will have a different function. I think this would be a very handy feature moving forward. The 15 Pro models are set to feature an A17 chip on a 3 nanometer processor which will help reduce power consumption significantly and for the color Apple leans towards the blue and gray hues. Also, the cables are set to match the phone colors which will look really really cool almost like what they have on like their large desktop kind of monitors the iMacs. The iPhone 15 Pro should be going for around $10.99 while the Pro Max will go around $11.99 or $12.99 respectively. 
Now, the most interesting part for me is the number of features Apple has introduced over the years. Are some of the features Android phone already have had for a while? The USB-C port inclusion will spark up a whole Android versus iPhone discussion. So I'm sure you'll be here for it when we start discussing most of that. This is all we know so far about what might be coming out from the new iPhone series, which will be coming on the 12th very soon. Make sure you stay tuned to this channel so you get all the gist when we unbox all of the iPhone 15s and give you our in-depth review and analysis and also help you make that decision for what to buy. If you want to see that video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like to watch other videos like this regarding tech, interestingly and other things you like to know, click on this link. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.